Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, we'll, I'll be making or I'll be sharing with you just a simple Jamaican dish, but we're going to do it in a slightly different, just a little different style. We're going to be making today brown stewed saltfish. And you did hear right, brown stewed saltfish. Now you'll need a piece of saltfish, whatever the size. The size depends on you, what you want. And then too, it's best for you to select saltfish that is like, or dry, you know, this one is sort of like, it should be drier than this. This one looks like it has a sort of wetness. So you see, we have a really huge piece of saltfish. This feels like about a pound and a quarter of saltfish. So if you notice, or you would say codfish or something, but like most households in Jamaica, we say saltfish, right? And it, there's a lot of the pickling salt that they use, and you can see some down in here, that they use to cure it. So the very first thing you want to do, you want to give it a rinse. You know, you want to give it that rinse. You want to take off that pickling salt that they have on it. So you want to give it a nice rinse. And also, after giving it that rinse, we're going to use it. We're going to proceed now to do some scalding off right here. In a lot of water we're gonna scald off in Jesse and the amount of water depends on the amount of salt fish that you're using we're gonna bring this to a boil and as soon as it starts boiling we're gonna come and change the water now we're gonna be doing this about two times if it's if it's a smaller piece I think you can do it only one time also you can pre-soak this and then scald it up but I proceed to just scald it up and then leave it to soak okay yes fam so I was saying if you are um, if you are using a smaller piece of saltfish then you could um, like go less water but when you're pre-soaking or trying to get out that salt from any form of um, pickle stuff it's best for you to use a lot of water use water according to the amount of stuff and I also was saying you could all scald this up, but I opt to do, you could pre-soak this ahead of time, but I opt to do the scalding off process before because this piece is not as dry as the ori you know, original pieces. Sometimes you get them and they are properly cured and dried. So that has the capacity to, to, to absorb extra water. This doesn't have no capacity, so I'm going to want to soak it in the water too long before I start um, boiling it, you know? So I prefer to scald it off and then leave it to soak. Therefore, I'm saying to you, you can scald off before and then left to soak. Or you can pre-soak and then scald off. But if it's the drier, drier ones, you pre-soak before. I hope you do understand. Because sometimes when you try to explain and you try your best to explain, somebody always come with some little stupidity, some little negativity. So I hope I did make sense to most of the people who care to hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to leave this to come to a boil and when it's all scalded off for the first time, I'm going to come back to give it one more. Catch you. Okay, now family, I'm right back. So it starts boiling right here. You can see right to the corner there all around. This is the salt that is coming up to the top. Some people say when they boil, they boil the first time like for 35 or 40 minutes. Well, as it starts doing like this, I'm just going to go and just turn off because this is the salt coming out of it. So I don't want it to stay and absorb it. So I'm going to remove this water and come back with the second one here. Okay, I'm right back fam. And as you can see, this piece of salt fish, it shrink. Hmm? Yeah, it starts shrink. Let me turn it over upon the other side and it's becoming, you know. So you see, this no need for cook until 35 or 40 minutes. So I'm going to do it for the second time and I'm going to be, um, me turn it over so I'm just going to take time throw my water to the side right here you know want to pour it on the salt which feet mash your um, arms splash out and mess up your stove so 
I'm going to do it with the same amount of water like I did. And when you see me in the next clip, this will all be scalded off for the second time. And then I'm going to leave it in some water, high school water, for about 15 minutes. After this is done for the second time, I am going to leave it in some ice cold water for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then when I return at that point, we are going to start this brown and then stewing down process. Eh? Soon come. Okay, family, right back at you. I have my salt fish here in ice water. And actually, I did go three times. Because I thought, I felt the need or I saw the need to go three times. You can also, after the second boiling or scalding, you can pinch off a little piece in the middle to test the salt, the amount of salt we left back in it. So I did go three times. And you see some salt fish come down small though. So it also tells you or you're learning here that boiling the salt fish, it shrinks it or it diminishes, this, this diminishes the size of it. So it's in my ice cold water there. And let me introduce to you the stuff that I'll be stewing down with. This is what I am doing. You can add your little others of choice or you can do what you want. Okay, remember my motto, my new motto on this channel is do you, not me. I do me, you do you. Okay, so I have a reasonable amount of chopped um, tomatoes here. They could be riper, but right now in Jamaica, the weather, all of that, we have just got to work with what we have. So if you're, you can find more cherry ripe tomatoes, the prettier, the redder, the better. And you need to use the seeds in them because that is what is going to give you the gravy, that stew for the brown stew saltfish. Eh? So you need a lot of the tomatoes with the seeds in. So we have some green scallions, you know, that are my special. I'm going to be using this big white onion. I'm going to be using a little red part of this bell pepper and I'm also going to be using a piece of green. If you have yellow, you could go with it. Okay? Orange and all of that. But do not go too much with the bell peppers because you know, say, them easy to take with the flavor from stuff. So I'll also be using a little white distilled vinegar and I'll be using a little sprinkle of black pepper. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to start removing all of these. These are the skins. These are the parts. And I showed you on other videos, videos, you need to remove all of these. So the water is cold and all of that. So you need, if you want to move it from this cold water and just do it. So you want to remove all of this skin here to the back that we don't use. Use a spoon. I find that it does it better. So I'm going to go do that now. Finish that. Remove most, almost. It's hard to remove all of these bones. You will find a few leaving. But take yourself some time and remove most or if not all of the bones, especially if you're feeding it to small children. So when you see me next, my skins will all be removed. My bones will be removed, most of them if I can. And I will break it into pieces like you'll see. And we'll start that brown stewing process. Must soon come. So fam, I am back. And this is my clean boil everything deboned prep salt fish i did it to the best of my ability with the bones and these are the pieces that i'll be using it could make it a little bigger too because when they are properly brown they might come down small so you see the big piece of salt fish this is what it comes down to and if you want to do your smaller mince it you can but try remember say when you mince it up too much you know you might not see nothing when it's finished but it's up to you this is how i'm doing my so now I've over here my oil being preheated on almost to high because you want this heat to be high because you're going to brown up this thing here. You see what I say? So I could take a chance now and see if oil really hot. Yeah, it could be a little hotter, but we're going to do it. And remember, whilst doing this exercise, you might get a little puff from time to time. So you want to be careful and that puff will be really strong. So... You want to make it like that, open it out in the pot, and this oil here is going to brown it. Try to do it and almost, you have to say I eat, but monitor it. So as soon as it starts browning, you're going to pull it from the bottom to the top, but I'll come back and I'll share that part with you. Whilst over here, I'm starting, or uh, I'll be continuing prepping my, my veggies. So I have this onion, I may cut off my onion, and all of that. So when we return... It will be time for you to see how this browning thing is proceeding. Soon come. Be careful though with your knives. 
Okay, now family, we have started the browning and all of that. So as you can see, that shoot them up. You realize that I'm trying to move these and you see how brown and they're gonna be so crispy. So what you want to do now, you wanna put your, your, if you have something like this, so you wanna just get it from the bottom. Start turning it over. Don't be afraid to stir up. And you see those at the bottom, they are becoming brown. So you don't be afraid to stir, okay? Don't be afraid to stir, because this is how salt fish is, you know. It has a little, like a kind of little, sort of little glue thing. So you see they're coming brown? Yeah, so you want to just keep the stirring them over, over and over, until you get that, everybody comes brown. So we're going to be doing that. Make sure you open them out when you're done. When you're finished um, stirring up, make sure you get them back out on the um, wider part. They don't give them space, okay? So you see them? We are going to brown until we have almost all of them looking like this piece here. Let me show you. You want them all brown up till everybody look like this piece. You're shooting them up, Dad? So we are going to do that and return right back. And then when we are back, stewing down, we'll start. Make sure you stick and stay because this is the Jamaican cooking journey. We'll soon come. Okay, now fam, properly browned up and crispy and nice and all of that. Remember I told you don't pick it up too small, you see? I know what I'm talking about. So when you brown and it becomes extra crispy, this is how it will look. Crispy and nice. Still on the eye eat. So the very thing you want to throw right in there now to cool it down is your fat tomatoes. And then you want to go right ahead and put in everything else that you have. All your little condiments that you want to use, you use them. I showed you what I have already. Okay? All of those will go right down in here. Now that you have all of those in there, you want to be starting stirring up. Also, at this point, very important, bring your flame down to medium. This is how the saltfish will look. With all of your dad, you're looking at that. Mm -hmm. How pretty is that, dad? Very pretty. Look at that. Lovely. Look at that, dad. Mm. Okay, so you're at medium Lovely. right now. Right down to medium, and that is so pretty, fun. Right here and now, you want to put your little um, white distilled vinegar because you want it to get all infused. This thing to get all infused with it. Okay, and this is so pretty. That's okay for that amount. If you are doing more, then you would need more. Also, if you want to, you can put a little black pepper, which is going to very much enhance this dish. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I love that. Okay? Let us incorporate this vinegar and this little black pepper. And I love that. Right on the medium. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to be covering down this spot. And if I tell you something, if you know nothing about saltfish, let me get my flame down a little bit more. If you know anything about saltfish, then you would, be, you would know what is happening in my house. The flavor that is taking over my entire house. When you see me next, this thing will be played it up just for you. So come. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate and most of all to your stomach, it is brown stewed salt fish done for you right from scratch in depth. This was just so good. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, remember to give me a fat thumbs up. Remember to make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. When you hit the bell, make sure you press the option on. Therefore, you will be notified when all my videos have been uploaded. Thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. Remember to support me with my little merch. A special thank you to those of you who have been purchasing. Remember, if you're following me on Instagram, when you do make a purchase, remember just to send me a little picture so I can just thank you in a beautiful way. 
Thanks once more to all those that have been reaching out to me beyond the call of YouTube. Thanks for those of you who are leaving me beautiful comments. Thank you so much. Everything puts together that makes this cooking channel what it is. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Remember to be you. Do you. Most of all, love you. Those of you who are looking for ways to hook up with me, in the description of my videos, there will be all my info. Remember, be you once more and do you and most of all make sure you love you